Hi there, so today's Monster High video is really, really different. Normally you guys are used to just seeing my hands manipulating dolls, but since it is October and nearly Halloween, I thought it would be a good idea to do some cosplay stuff or Halloween costumes for some of my favorite ghouls. Today is obviously the wonderful Claudine Wolf. I had so much fun putting this together. So if you wanna see how you can dress up to be Claudine Wolf for Halloween or for cosplay, just keep on watching. So before we pounce right into this tutorial, let's take a second to look at Claudine's makeup. I am using the original Wave 1 doll. It's the same makeup that you see in all the webisodes and in some of the movies. So let's go ahead and take a peek. So Claudine is a lover of purple and vampy reds, much like myself. Her eye makeup is completely purple. You have a darker purple right here in the crease and you also have a cut crease signified by this black line. You also have some of that darker, duskier purple going around here and it looks like her brow highlight and her lid color are also the same shade of light purple. And if you look really closely, there's actually a ton of sparkle right there on the upper lid, which I think is fabulous. She also has a very, very light wash of neutral blush going on on her cheek and she has this great red lip. So now that we're done looking at her makeup, let's go ahead and get on to the tutorial. Claudine doesn't have an abnormal skin tone, so you can either keep your face bare or wear a foundation. Next, move on to the eyebrows, which are a medium deep brown color with a rounded inner corner. Use a primer on your eyelids to ensure that all the work that you'll be doing with eyeshadow stays where it should, and this will also help intensify the colors. Next, we're going to cut our crease with a black eyeshadow. I'm using an angled brush that has been wet with setting spray to get a more intense line. And just follow the natural shape of your crease like this. Use a pale shimmery purple as a brow highlight. And use a fluffy crease brush to apply a purple shade right above the black cut crease and gently blend it upwards. Blend the brow bone and the crease shade together with a blending brush that has a small amount of the highlight shade on it. Take some black eyeshadow on a small brush and redefine that cut crease. This will also create a more seamless look between the black and purple, and of course, don't forget to blend. Pat some white cream eyeshadow on your lid using a stiff, flat brush. This will make sure that your lid shade really pops. Apply a lavender shade all over the white cream eyeshadow you just put down. Be careful to keep the black line crisp because you really want that nice contrast. And then go in one last time with that black on a wet brush and really sharpen up that crease. Pat some iridescent glitter right above the crease and up to below the brow highlight. And then use a pencil brush with the same dark purple that you used in the crease and sweep that on your lower lash line, followed by a touch of black just to deepen it up. Next, carefully use a black gel liner to add drama to your lash line. Wing it out on top and thinly line your lower lashes. Use a white eyeliner to brighten up your waterline and create that doll-eyed appearance. And finish up your eye look by curling your lashes and loading up on that mascara. And don't forget your lower lashes. Add some color to your cheeks with a dusky neutral blush and use a deep, deep red on your lips. And you're almost good to go. Time to put on your wig cap and sport Claudine's signature curls. My wig came with her ears attached, but if yours doesn't, you could probably get away with just using a headband with ears on it. And now for the finishing touch, which are werewolf fangs. All right, and that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I had such a fun time turning myself into Claudine Wolf. It was a total blast. If you like this tutorial, make sure to let me know down in the comments below with a like or even by subscribing. And if you plan on doing this look, make sure to post a picture of it on Instagram and tag me in it, which is the at symbol, mad, the number four, and then monster high, and I will go ahead and check it out. Make sure to keep an eye out for future Monster High cosplay or Halloween tutorials. And that's all I have for today. Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos or you can watch one of my friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.